Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Here at Sunduck Film, we do a lot of 2D animation tutorials that are focused on developing new techniques and sharing knowledge with our motion graphics community. Over the time I've been doing these tutorials, I've learned a lot about After Effects and I'm always looking to share that knowledge with you. Here's some of that work I've done on Sunduck Film. All these tutorials are great if you want to learn After Effects, but I think the biggest struggle for any motion graphics artist is time management. For example, when I do a three minute video explainer that has simple animation in it, it can take me days to complete. And I've always been a big fan of buying templates to help save time, which helps a lot. But there's still a lot of projects that you can do for your clients that need custom animation that you can't use templates for. Due to a recent partnership with Envato, which owns VideoHive.net, I've been able to take a closer look at a variety of After Effects project files and presets. While browsing VideoHive.net, I stumbled across the most handy presets for Animation Composer. Animation Composer is a free plugin that allows you to apply motion presets to multiple layers with a few clicks. After a little bit of use, this is currently my favorite way to do 2D animation. With over 1,000 motion presets, I can easily drag and drop onto multiple layers with just a couple of clicks. I can now do two hours worth of work in three minutes. You're probably like, what? Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so here we are inside of After Effects and we have Animation Composer installed over here on the right. And you can see we have four different preset folders and the folder we'll be looking at is the transition presets where we have the most handy presets for Animation Composer installed. And this is where the thousand plus animation presets are stored. So we have three folders in here for layer transformations, text, and for 3D layer transformations. We'll be looking at how awesome this plugin is. And we'll be looking at one of my old tutorial templates that took me 13 minutes to animate. So let's come here real quick and see what we can do. So we want to say animate these buildings here. So we have the block of buildings right here. Turn them off. See, there they are. And we want to quickly animate them in and out. So what we can do is open up the 2D layer transformation and we can pick what we want to do. Position, position, rotate, position, rotate, and scale. There's a lot we can do in here. So let's start with the position, rotate, and scale. And if we click on one of these presets here in the right corner, you can kind of see what they're going to look like before you apply them. And they all look really cool. Maybe we'll apply this one. And what we can do is click and drag it and apply it as in. So real quick, we can scroll through this and we can see what we have. Boom, so all of our buildings just came in with this very nice animation. And let's say we want to animate it out as well. So maybe we'll apply this one, apply it to as out. And now it's applied as an out transition. So let's quickly go edit these transitions. So we click on more tools. So what we can do is click on keyframe wingman. And this brings up a window here, which allows us to control the easiness of the keyframe. So we want this to be very smooth. We can set this up to 100 and the animation will be even smoother. We can close out this window and we can go to the transition shifter. And what this allows us to do is to offset the end transition point. So if you want this to start at two seconds, we can move this over the timeline and this moves in at two seconds. We can bring down the drop down, go to out transitions and we can bring this in a little bit so they'll animate out early as well. And if we want to expand the time of the transitions, go to in transition markers and we can expand the length of the transition. So it'll just be a little bit longer and that looks pretty good. So, so let's say we want to offset these buildings as well. What we can do is come here to the bottom, select up to say five frames and click on do. And you can also set it to descending or random, which is pretty nice. So we'll come here and play through it again. And as you see, they come on in different order, which looks really cool. So now we can quickly apply this to the other layers as well. So we'll come in here and select our tree layers. And since everything is coming in from the left and the right, and I want to mix it up, what we can do is click on this cog button and set it to what direction we want the animation to come in. So say we want it coming in from the right side, come in here, bring in our preset, apply it as in, and then we grab another one and apply it as out. And if we scrub through this, as you can see, they're coming in from the other direction as well, just easily by controlling that so we can quickly come in here and finish up animating everything and with our final render here we are able to animate the in and out points of our city just within a couple of minutes using these presets and we have full control over everything with a few clicks of a button simply put the most handy presets for animation composer is currently 56 dollars the plugin is free but the way that i look at it is Spending a little bit money to speed up my workflow tremendously is a worthwhile investment so I can focus on my business rather than doing constant work. Go ahead and check out the full in-depth video on the most handy presets for Animation Composer. Link is in the description. So hopefully this video can point you in the right direction for saving time while doing animation. This has been Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and always be creating.